Hello again, my fellow pilots and my fellow aircraft maintenance personnel. Your host is always Haysam Ali and I'm an aviation technical instructor. Welcome to my aviation nuggets for today. At the beginning, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Aviation Nuggets, to have more sessions to increase your performance on the aircraft system of the Airbus and on the basic training. Okay, everybody. So, uh, in these short minutes, we will spoke. Uh, sorry, we will speak about the avionics smoke procedure. We try to summarize the avionics smoke procedure. The avionics smoke procedure. Okay. So, as you can see here, the avionics equipment, which is like the computer racks in the avionics compartment, circuit breaker panels, and the screens are always ventilated and cooled by air. Air is circulated around the avionics equipment thanks to the blower fan to push air into the avionics equipment and the extract fan extracts the warm air which is being used to cool down the avionics equipment and the avionics ventilation system has three uh, configuration if you remember the avionics ventilation has three configuration which are called open configuration, closed configuration, and the intermediate configuration. Okay, so if the aircraft is on ground, uh, the open configuration are there. Open configuration are there. The skin air inlet valve is open, and the skin air outlet valve is open, and the blower fan operate to blow air into the avionics equipment to cool down the avionics equipment, and the extract fan... Uh, operate to take the warm air out from the skin air outlet valve okay this is on ground in flight and also uh, on ground but if there is a very cold condition on ground the closed configuration are there skin air inlet valve close and the skin air outlet valve close and the blow and extract fan operate to blow air into the avionics equipment warm air out by extract fan and the air is circulated in the avionics compartment as you can see thanks to the skin heat exchanger the warm air will be cooled down by the skin of the fuselage skin heat exchanger to be cool or to be cooled down again and the blower fan will push it again onto the avionics equipment okay everybody here's the closed configuration the third configuration you remember for the avionics ventilation is the intermediate configuration. Intermediate configuration. Skin air inlet valve close and this sorry, skin air inlet valve close and the skin air outlet valve partially open. Partially open. This third configuration, everybody, is used in the avionics smoke procedure. Avionics smoke procedure. Okay. So in the avionics smoke procedure, you will do ventilation, then electrical shedding, if the smoke still persists. Ventilation, then electrical shedding. So, in the ventilation procedure, you press on the blower and extract push button, over right and over right. When you press on the uh, uh, blower push button, blower fan push button over right, the blower fan stop and the scanner and the valve will still close. And when you press override on the extract fan, the extract fan is still operate and the skin air outlet valve will be partially open. Okay, to take the smoke with the air coming out from the avionics equipment into outside of the aircraft. And then you will wait like for five minutes. And if smoke still persists, you will do electrical shedding and you will apply the avionics smoke procedure on the emergency electric power panel on the emergency electric power panel okay so the intermediate configuration is used in the avionics smoke procedure and if you need my fellow pilot or my fellow aircraft maintenance personnel to summarize the avionics smoke procedure remember these two words ventilation then electrical shedding ventilation then electrical shedding so the first step you do you try to ventilate the aircraft you try to ventilate the avionics compartment and they take smoke with the uh, extract air into outside of the aircraft and if the smoke still persists after five minutes you need to do electrical shedding you need to do electrical shedding so 
As you can see here, we have one avionics smoke detector on the air extraction duct. One avionics smoke detector on the air extraction duct that will sense smoke from the warm air coming out from the avionics equipment. And the avionics smoke detector will send a signal to the avionics equipment ventilation controller to manage the avionics smoke procedure in the cockpit to alert the pilot and you need to know that the avionics smoke indication will come on on two panel the ventilation panel and the emergency electric power panel on the ventilation panel the blower push button and the extract push button will have fault and fault and you need to do override and override and on the emergency electric power panel the smoke indication will come on the Gen 1 line push button. On the Gen 1 line push button. So everybody, as you can read here, since the aircraft has a cooling system for the avionics equipment, the cooling system is controlled and monitored by the avionics equipment ventilation controller. The avionics equipment ventilation controller manage the three configuration, open configuration on ground, close the configuration in flight or low temperature on ground and the intermediate configuration in case of avionics smoke so the air is circulated through the system by a blower fan cool air supply blower fan used for cool air supply to cool down the avionics equipment and the extract fan for warm air out working together the blower fan will work together with an extraction fan for warm air removal so that on the extraction duct we have one avionics smoke detector to detect smoke in the warm air out of the avionics equipment and then the indication for avionics smoke will come on two panels ventilation panel and emergency electric power panel so that you can summarize always that the procedure for avionics smoke will be first at the ventilation panel ventilation then electrical shedding if smoke still persists after ventilate and you do the intermediate configuration so you need to act on the emergency electric power panel and it takes the aircraft into an emergency configuration deploy the rat and have an necessary emergency electric configuration until you land as soon as possible so my fellow pilots and my fellow aircraft maintenance personnel as a summary, I need to tell you that if you need to summarize the procedure for avionics smoke, remember these two words, ventilation, then electrical shedding, ventilation, then electrical shedding. This is for avionics smoke procedure. But on the other side of in case of engine fire, ABU fire, cargo fire, you remember isolation, then uh, 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 extinguish isolation then fire extinguish but for the avionics smoke you remember ventilation then electrical shedding ventilation then electrical shedding thank you for your good listening and always fly safely and maintain your aircraft very safely from Cairo Egypt your host was Haysam Ali and I'm an aviation technical instructor please don't forget to subscribe to my aviation nuggets channel on the youtube aviation nuggets are a performance support tools to increase your performance and to act as a recurrent or refresh knowledge for you to remember aircraft system normal and abnormal procedure normal and abnormal procedure thank you for your good listening and i will meet you again so soon bye bye